Don't call us sidekicks. I'm not convinced. Sure, you two and Kid Flash are above suspicion, but I know Artemis isn't shooting straight. For starters, she's not Green Arrow's niece. What? Well, yeah. In fact, she's related to- Enough. Artemis's relations may indeed make her suspect, but she's still entitled to a secret identity. I'm more concerned about Superboy. Robin, Lagan, Beetle, you're Gamma. Prep the bio ship. You're headed to New Orleans. Gamma always gets the soft gigs. Tim, you'll be running Gamma. Me? Dick, I've never led a squad before. Making this a good opportunity to get your feet wet as a field leader. Because it's Gamma and you're not expecting trouble? Or because we're stretched thin and you have no choice? Just don't die, okay? and no unnecessary risks to the squad. That's an order. One is not in success where true character is revealed, but in failure. Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Garfield Logan. Your name's Tim, and yours is Dick? Oops, spoilers. This secret identity thing is so retro. I mean, you can call me Impulse, or Bart, or Bart Allen, or Bart Impulse Allen, it's all crash. Is it possible he might actually be telling the truth? Could he really be from the future? Sounds like a door opening somewhere. And that's my cue. Bye-bye! Hi, Mel. Bye, Mel. Don't worry, the Peregrine Falcon is the world's fastest bird. He won't get away. Doesn't stand a chance, does he? Nope. Impulse is too fast. But at least we can track him. You planted a tracer? It'll fall off at his speed. It won't. He drank it. Subcutaneous micro-tracker in the water. Nice. Thanks. He's making a beeline for Central City. Hey, need your help. Call me Cal Durant. How did you know how to cure us? That temple wasn't even the Reach's database. Bumblebee and I first came across it months ago on another mission. I couldn't help noticing the blue scarab imagery and recorded a holographic file of the symbols and hieroglyphics. Dr. Fate was able to translate the glyphs, which revealed a mystic ceremony the ancients had used to cleanse the scarab of Reach control. That's why my scarab was off mode when I found it. I had been cleansed upon landing on Earth 4,000 years ago. Meanwhile, Batgirl and I got with the hacking. Starting with the computer files of the previous Blue Beetle, the late Ted Cord. Ted's files revealed that an archaeologist named Dan Garrett first discovered both the temple and the scarab in 1939. 
It fused with him the way it fused with you, but Dan assumed it was some kind of mystic artifact, and he used it to become the first blue beetle of modern times. When Dan passed away, he left the scarab to his protege, Ted Cord. But Cord quickly realized the scarab was alien technology. Since he wasn't about to let an alien device fuse to his spine, he locked the scarab away. But Garrett still inspired Ted to become the second Blue Beetle, even with no superpowers. I hear those are optional. You're not the only one with the backup, Bob. Investigating the origin of the alien bomb that destroyed the Krolatane invasion force is still a high priority. We suspect the bomb may have been smuggled to Earth via boom tube. Watchtower sensor scans of Bialya have recorded an uptick in boom tube activity. But Bialya's dictator, Queen Bee, is another story. Her ability to control the minds of men is why Alpha is an all-female squad for this mission. Oh, really? And would you have felt the need to justify an all-male squad for a given mission? Ahem. <clears throat> uh... There, there's no right answer for that, uh, is there, so... Nightwing out. Queen Bee isn't the only woman who can mess with a man's mind. <laughs> <laughs>